The Parliamentary Committee on Commission's State Authorities and State Enterprises, which is probing the closure of seven banks between 1998 and 2016, has begun considering matters related to the National Bank of Commerce, which Bank of Uganda closed on 27th September 2012. The bank closures were investigated under special audit, conducted by the Auditor General on the directive of the Parliament of Uganda. Before the committee could delve deeper into the matters of the National Bank of Commerce, Bank of Uganda Governor Emmanuel Tumusime Mutebire declared that he was a major shareholder in the defunct bank. I declared my interest. I said that because I was uh, associated with the owners of the bank and was myself reducing my shareholding in the bank. At that time I hadn't completely reduced, but I was reducing gradually. But by the time of the sale, I did not own the bank. Some MPs then wondered whether Mutebide, as an NBC shareholder, did not use his position to favor the bank before it landed into financial problems. What we are seeing is that the governor of the central bank had actually begun the commercial bank. And the central bank is a regulatory body to commercial banks. I just want to get something from him. Whether that one alone itself was never any interest, any conflict of interest. Throughout my period as governor, I don't remember taking any decision at all regarding National Bank of Government. The governor, what we are looking at is as a regulator, there should be at no point where your judgment will be impaired because of personal interest. That's what we call a conflict of interest. According to the Auditor General's report, as the case with Global Trust Bank, National Bank of Commerce was sold to Crane Bank on the same day it was closed. The committee also learned that former Bank of Uganda Executive Director for Commercial Bank Supervision, Justin Bajenda, casually handled the sale of both banks. She made a phone call to the then DFCU Managing Director Juma Chisame to buy Global Trust Bank. Bajenda then called up the Crane Bank Managing Director at the time, A.R. Karani, to say that National Bank of Commerce was on sale and Crane Bank bought it. Who invited Mr. Chisame into these negotiations? Mr. Chairman, I did. You did? Did you do it in writing or by phone? Uh, by phone that you executive direct banker supervision is inviting a prospective buyer an acquirer of a bank casual on a phone say so i have a banker come here and buy really mrs virgin really but the phone calls made to the different banks about the possibility of them acquiring an institution. Do not state which bank it is. Never. The committee proceedings continue on Tuesday with more queries on the closure of the National Bank of Commerce. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.